What's up guys, it's your boy FaZe Code Tech and Tutorials and I've got the newest crypto scam for you. Just get me to 10 million subs and I will scam you hard. Just kidding. All right, for real though, we are going to do some libraries with CMake and Visual Studio Community Edition. This isn't something I've covered yet, so we're just gonna walk through it. Let's just jump into it. We'll make it as quick as possible. So I'm gonna launch Visual Studio, first of all. We're gonna make a new project. And when we make a new project, we are gonna choose CMake as the type. You'll see this over here. If you don't see it, you can search for it. You should have it in your default setup though. So it should be here. And there you go, give it a name. We're just gonna call this Demo Phase. I gotta make fun of these guys. How do you get to that many subs by scamming people? I don't get it. Get it together, fellas, get it together. I'm willing to bet that anyone subscribed to my channel has not subscribed to any of them because we're in a whole different realm of intellectuals. You have some stuff here. You don't really need to worry about this configure stuff. Sure, it gives you some options, but it's just overview pages. We're gonna do the overview here. Uh, look on the left side here or find your solution explorer. So you have your out build here um, and you have a root level CMake, which is this one right here. What this is gonna do is add a subdirectory of your project, which is over here. And it gives us like some root level stuff, a .h, .cpp. The .cpp has some main, and the dot h is just for like your headers this is kind of just a little starter project nothing serious and this cmake over here has your executable and the stuff to include to make your executable pretty standard cmake stuff if you've seen the previous cmake videos you'll know all this already and it should apply what if you want to start using libraries let's say for example we want to i don't know let's just pick a library let's just say glm it doesn't see glm H, but this could be, in theory, any library. You pick your library, whatever library you need, you'll see that you can't include it. So what you have to do is a couple different things. Uh, first of all, let's just launch our terminal and let's find the library we want with VC Package Manager. If you don't know how to do this VC Package Manager stuff, I do have a video on that too. That gets you all going. I'll reference that somewhere case you don't know but if you're good you're good so uh, we're gonna install pick a library let's say we want to do Vulkan and I've already got it installed with 64 and all that so we're we're good here but if we tried to include Vulkan for example we're not seeing it code which is not seeing it and to fix that well you will see I'm gonna type integrate install in here integrate install just to see the command and it'll tell you a CMake project should use and there's this tool chain. It's gonna be different for you. As you can see, it's a file that says e-source. So this is my local drive. Yours will be different. And you just wanna copy this. And then you wanna go back to Visual Studio up here where it says your debug thing and go to manage configurations. And under manage configurations, you pick the config you're gonna build with. We're gonna stick with x64 debug just cause it's default. You will find in here, the CMake toolchain file. So you can path to it by clicking this little button here, but if you've already copied it, you just paste it right in there. Just the path to that vcpkg.cmake. And just save this, control S or whatever. What you have to do next is you wanna to go to your CMake list, the one for the project, and you wanna add it. Uh, let's do, so when you install, it tells you how to use it. Now this says, since it's already installed, doesn't tell you how to use it but we can get a little example by just Googling real quick here. You will see that it just talks about some stuff that we kind of already know or should if you don't even read through it. But basically when you install a library to use it in your CMake, other than what we just previously did, you also have to put this find package and target link libraries into your code. And it shows you some more examples somewhere down here. Uh, we're not worried about this, but here's an example CMake. See they have the find package and the target link. Uh, so let's just add those. So we'll just copy that code there and put it right here. And put it up here. Vulcan. Vulcan config required. Target link libraries. Ours is called main. It's called demo phase. Paste that in there. They had one too many brackets. And it looks like it doesn't see it. I believe we got to go Vulcan. Vulcan. And it doesn't quite see it. Let me figure out what I'm doing wrong. After doing a little research, uh, I found a few little tricks. So if you want to add one of these libraries, of course, you got to tell it to find it after you've installed it with VCPKG. 
usually config and usually required. And then you want to link it. And for, we're just going to give it a GLM. Uh, so GLM would be like so. And then we can go to our header. And IntelliSense should start picking it up. So we can start doing GLM stuff and using GLM code, a GLM X3, for example, just as something to test here. And we'll initialize it. But as you can see, it's happy with it, seems to like it. And we could run our code and uh, it compiles. So if we want to do that with other ones, say we want to add, I don't know, if you want to get like the OpenGL stuff going, we would add glad to this. We would also add glad, glad. Now, most of them are like this, but not all of them. So that's an important distinction. Not all libraries are created equally. So there we could get our glad stuff going. And if we want to get GLFW, I'm using these just because I've done a lot of tutorials that involve them. Now, GLFW3 is a little different. Let's see if you try to do what you expect here. GLFW3, GLFW3. It's, uh, it's not too happy. Uh, I could probably dig it up and research. I couldn't figure out exactly what it wants here. But what you can do is if you don't want to keep guessing, you can just uh, use the macro that is GLFW libraries. And that seems to link the right thing. And of course you can do that for these other ones too. Uh, just some kind of little handy trick here. I'll show it with glad, but you should be able to do this with in general all of them. Now it seems to be happy. You can also include GLFW here. And then we should be able to start like uh, we could, you know, we could use some code from one of my previous examples or from my OpenGL tutorial and make a window and all that with this setup. So this could get you going pretty quick with, uh, with any library. I was looking at Vulkan and Vulkan is definitely a little different here. I wasn't able to exactly figure it out. For example, if I do find package Vulkan config, uh, we'll get rid of this one for now, comment it out. It's not happy with just find package Vulkan config because it's a module. So if we get rid of config, then it picks it up as a module. It's now happy. But now the link libraries is a little different. I tried the obvious Vulkan. It's not happy with that. I tried some other things. I tried SDK. I tried underscore SDK. So yeah, you can just use the macro and that one seems to be happy. However, when we go back over to here and try to include it, it's not picking it up. And that's where I kind of got stuck. So we do have here on the Lunar G website some info about it. This is a slightly older version. These should be the same. It says you put in here, find package Vulcan required. We seem to have that right. And it does also say that you want to specify your platform with the target compile definition. So maybe that's what we need. And the target link libraries looks like you just put Vulcan with capital V. Yeah, that appears to be it. It just needs to be capitalized. So all the libraries are a little different. Some of them want a capital letter. It does need to be exact. You can always use this macro if you can't quite figure it out. So that is one thing that is kind of nice. However, we're still running into one problem of not being able to include Vulcan here. It just IntelliSense isn't seeing it. Thanks to the power of the internet, we have found some additional information here on one of the BCP. KG issues on GitHub and someone just reporting the same problem saying, hey, I can't find the header. And the answer seems to be, and we're going to try this out and make sure it works, is the Vulkan port does not actually copy the Vulkan headers over. All it does is verify they exist under the Vulkan SDK. You are responsible for actually adding the include path. So let's add that include path. There are several ways of doing this. We could, of course, copy the includes over into our project as like an include folder. So like we would go something like add folder, include, and then maybe make a, a Vulcan in here and drag them over. But it looks like you do actually need to go get the SDK or find it somewhere because Vulcan, as you might know, comes with your video card drivers. So let's dig into that real quick here. So I do have the Vulcan SDK on one of my drives and here it is. And you'll see include and we've got some code here, including Vulkan. So we could take this and literally target include libraries to that path. So that's what we're going to try here. Be something like that. Now it goes to show that these problems, they might seem significant, but they're often really minor. Literally, the problem was the wrong slashes copied over. 
So you would either have to use double slashes or just switch it to these ones. Now if you update your SDK, you gotta update this include. There might be a better way of doing this. If you know a better way of making this more automatic, feel free to leave a comment. But now once you do that, you should be able to include Vulcan and start using Vulcan dot whatever you need. Now I don't want to make this a Vulcan tutorial, but basically you should be able to start uh, implementing your Vulcan code for whatever you're doing. Now that's just another example. I just kind of wanted to cover somewhat of a broad scope of libraries here, just to give you as many ideas as possible. We're just gonna do a build, make sure it builds here. But yeah, that's that's it. There's some examples of how to get CMake and your libraries working on Visual Studio Community Edition. Hope you enjoyed this episode. See you in the next one. Peace out.